Hi, hello, uh, <clears throat> good morning. Uh, hope you people are <clears throat> doing well. And we have <coughs> completed the lessons that is connected with the contribution of Greek scholars. <clears throat> and uh, nearly 35, 37, 35 or 34, 33 students are responding, attending the assessment regularly. And uh, let me thank uh, that people, <clears throat> that my students, regularly attending the assessment. Uh, that's a great thing. That's a good thing. Definitely, you will get the result. Definitely, you will get the results. Uh, you know that it's a regular code. So you have to watch the videos. Uh, attending the live sessions asking questions that is quite important nowadays so it is a uh, new normal <clears throat> and uh, uh, some people are not attending the assessment i don't know kindly and regularly attend the assessment it is a it is an it is an important thing see i am observing each and everything i am observing each and everything that is, that uh, new students they should attend the assessment that is very very important very important right uh, nearly uh, five or six students recently joined in that group uh, they should attend that assessment it's very important very very important you have to attend the assessments it's important right watch the video uh, attending live sessions ask your doubts that is that is the learning process the learning uh, that uh, learning from uh, my material. Uh, hope you people are enjoying my lessons, classes. Uh, I know that uh, it is, but I'm, I'm also learning certain things, new things. Learning so many, so many concepts. So uh, we have discussed about the Greek scholarship, the contribution of different Greek scholars. So many people, Hecatius, Herodotus, Thales, Anaximander, uh, that so many people. <clears throat> and let me start with that uh, a, a small correction from the last video. Uh, I have excluded one important scholar that is Pythagoras. So uh, let me tell you something about Pythagoras. I will add a note about Pythagoras. Uh, he is very important scholar in Greek scholarship and ancient period. And you know that the famous one, Pythagoras theorem, right? Uh, very popular philosopher. And his contribution that is in geometry. Geometry, right? I will add a note in the group and you can read about Pythagoras, right? Or else, or else, or you can refer some uh, uh, internet and uh, collect some material. Definitely, you can use that method also. Uh, see, the, the thing is, in all the subject in college level, this uh, what teacher is. This is not about uh, what teacher is saying, right? What professor is saying? The, all the things are professor said by the pro, the uh, things said by the professor. That oh, that all the things are not exactly right some things have certain mistakes so you have to refer certain material and you have to correct you have to give proper explanations uh, thankfully <clears throat> we are starting the second part that is evolution of geography in the ancient period contribution of roman latin fine uh, roman period fine you know you may heard about so no, lots of things roman colosseum fine uh, Julius Caesar, and so many things. Uh, that is uh, very popular in Rome, and uh, that uh, proverb, uh, Rome, uh, Rome is not built by a single day, like something like that kind of proverb that is very popular. Fine. <clears throat> so, like Greeks, uh, Roman contribution is also very valuable contribution but a very few one a single lesson about roman contribution not more single lesson and let me tell you one more correction in that one in that one uh, we have 
learned about nearly 11 learners sorry not 11 learners 11 scholars uh, in the geography so in the in that one strabo actually he is not from greek he is from rome so uh, some uh, in some reference material it is mentioned that gray uh, greek gracio roman contribution so i have referred to that kinds of material so in that one uh, that uh, strabo is from rome but I, uh, when i am referring some other material it is it mentioning that the strabo is not exactly from rome he sorry strabo is not from exactly from greek it's from rome so uh, just exclude strabo and uh, kindly include pythagoras in that list so pythagoras also uh, nearly 11 important not 11 uh, more scholars are there but the important 11 important 11 scholars uh, in that group so uh, let me start the lesson uh, the evolution of geography in ancient period contribution of roman so important people strabo uh, ptolemy p p is silent here t p t o l e m a ptolemy Poppenis Mela, Pliny the Elder, Pliny, okay, that is in a Pliny, that is in a, so, important four scholars, that is Strabo, Strabo, Ptolemy, Poppenis Mela, Pliny the Elder, and, um, see the lesson after the Greek, the political power passed into the hands of Romans, the Romans' major contribution was mainly in the field of historical and regional geography, but they have also made contribution in the field of physical and mathematical geography so you know that literary tradition mathematical tradition so many things we have explained mathematically observing the things means calculating distances that, that kinds of uh, that uh, movement and literally means was, uh, just observing things and uh, uh, explaining things in a literary manner right so different traditions the geographical scholarship in the ancient period is incomplete without the advancements made in the roman empire although romans did not contribute as much large scale that it can be compared to the contribution of the greeks the writings and contribution of ptolemy cannot be overlooked so ptolemy he is the <coughs> he is the important scholar in the uh, in that uh, roman geographers he is one of the most important geographer in that time ptolemy uh, revived, revived the mathematical tradition of Thales, which was long forgotten. For him, geography was a <clears throat> science of art of map making. Right? Uh, he considered, see, I will show you a few maps that prepared by Ptolemy. For him, geography was a science of the art of map making. This concept was borrowed from the works of earlier Greek, especially Aristotle, Hipparchus, Posidonius and uh, Marinus. That's not an important scholar. The type, his character, his teacher, these people that uh, especially the Hipparchus, Posidonius and <coughs> Aristotle, Hipparchus and Posidonius. He came up with a, a monumental work known as the Almagest. It is very important question uh, that uh, so many in so many exams I have seen this most important work of Ptolemy, that is Almagest. Uh, the uh, standard reference for the study of the movement of class celestial bodies for a long time. So his most important work, that is known as Almagest. That is uh, something Latin language. He even accepted Aristotle's view that the earth was spherical in shape. So that is Aristotle's view we have discussed centered in the universe and remained stationary. So at that time, uh, that moment of earth, that is not accepted. So I have said about geocentric concept, right? Uh, the center of the universe, that is earth. That time, that, uh, that was the concept at the time of Aristotle, Ptolemy, likewise. In the universe and remain stationary. Stationary means uh, no movement. The celestial body is revolving around it in a circular motion. Another significant contribution of Ptolemy was in the field of map making. He improved. He means Ptolemy. Ptolemy improved 
and modify previous maps or adop adopting a projection so you have i have explained about two important projection right for the world map which had a graticule of meridians of longitude and parallels of latitude means graticule means as a, a network network of latitude and longitude he means ptolemy so uh, his major contribution that is almagest so in that one uh, description about latitude and longitude right that is the non description at that time right that was the non description at that time so the next one <coughs> pliny uh pliny the elder <coughs> around the world's first encyclopedia his natural history contained over a million words in 37 volumes pliny attempted to document all known facts about the natural world he claimed to have recorded 20000 piece of information although modern scholars say he underestimated his own output in his geography that is naturalis historia that natural history in that uh, uh, latin word it is naturalis historia so that is all about pliny <clears throat> so he is the first person prepared an encyclopedia and his work that is known as natural history that means in uh, in that latin word that is naturalis historia and uh, the next one that is popinus mela flourished in 43 ce uh okay that uh, place back uh, betri betica author of the only ancient uh, treatise on geography in classical latin so that uh, d c2 orbis a description of the world that is opens villas work d c2 orbis description of the world also known as the choreographia concerning choreography written about 43 or 44 ce that means uh, ce yes, that i have to refer right but uh, bc before christ a, a, after christ okay it remained influential until the beginning of the age of exploration 30th 30th centuries later so that is about poponis mela so probably intended for the general reader mela's geography was cited by pliny the elder in his encyclopedia of natural science as an important authority so <clears throat> so see i have to explain that pliny after this poponis so the work was largely a borrowing from greek sources and contained information that was frequently obsolete it was unique among the ancient geographies in that it is divided the earth which mela placed in the center of the universe into five zones a northern frigid zone a northern temperate zone a torrid zone a southern temperate zone and a southern frigid zone means he is dividing based on in that disk right so uh, his most of his the, the popinus mela most of his contribution and writing that is borrowed from greek scholars so we have discussed what is the contribution of greek scholarship in the ancient period so uh, strabo that we have discussed right we have discussed so these are the maps that is from ptolemy so his network of latitude and longitude it, i said it is a uh it's based on something like a disk uh it's also one of the work so that is all about today's lesson we have discussed uh important scholars in roman empire that is strabo ptolemy popinus mela pliny the elder so four important scholars uh in that time in that ancient period that was the way of explaining the things in that way uh, that ancient people explained that means the philosophers right uh so many philosophers they explain try to explain the concepts from their observation 
uh, certain calculations, certain way of writing contributed a lot, and uh, that uh, different uh, development of different stages. So that is all about today's lesson. You can watch my video lesson at any time, and you have to ask the doubts. Clearly attend the assessment. My dear students, we people are trying to learn about the geographical process, geographical pattern, and geographical behavior. That is our aim and that is our objective. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video lesson. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, kindly attend the, uh, and, uh, attend the assessment. Uh, regularly watch the videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.